morning, brothers and sisters. Um, I wanted to do an update on the video that I did yesterday about Adelaide, Australia. I was looking through what I had written down and um, I forgot to look at the definitions of some names a part of the name and if you remember um, it's my like a couple videos back I believe <clears throat> um, where I had the dream about when I heard Iggy Azalea and then I heard what's been given to the temple for sacrifice has now been removed and then I seen a boy standing next to Jesus and he was angry in the temple. And then I seen the man standing by the desk. He gets off the phone. He slams a bunch of books or papers on the ground and he yells out 200 emails and they never told me no mention, no warning. And he looks like a politician or um, a professor, I'd say probably a politician, but I looked through some of the names. Now, Iggy Azalea, some of you might've heard her before. She is a rapper. Uh, like, I don't even listen to her, but I looked up Iggy Azalea and I typed in Australia and she is a Australian native. Now, a sister commented on my video yesterday and said that she was born in Adelaide. She's, she's from there. And so that kind of blew me away. I was like, wow, okay, Lord. And so her real name is Amethyst Amelia Kelly. And so I looked up... Um, Let's see, Amelia means industrious and striving. Azalea means dry or dry earth. Iggy means to ignore. And so then I was sitting here, I was talking to my husband last night about the scoreboard. I was trying to see what his take, what came to his mind when um, he thought of a scoreboard because he's really been into sports. He always has been. And, uh, and I was looking here and I, I was like, well, I never looked up her last name, Kelly. So I looked up Kelly and Kelly means war, just straight out war. And so I was like, wow, I should have looked that up sooner. But then I was looking at this 200 emails, 200 emails, and they never told me no mention, no warning. And that means sudden destruction, you guys. Like, um, you know, he was in con maybe a politician. He was in contact with someone maybe uh, lower down who was in contact with someone higher up. But, you know, the higher up knew what was going to happen, but it never trickled down to, hey, what's on the way? It means sudden destruction, no warning. This guy was sent 200 emails, no warning, no mention of what's going to happen. So to me, that's sudden destruction. So I typed in the number 200 in Strong's exhaustive concordance. It means folly or locust. Locust is what stood out to me. Um, and war. Locust and war is what I got from those, and it's no accident. Um, and that is biblical. That You could trace that back to scripture. Um, when I always read about the locust, this, this, this is what I was always taught. The locusts are helicopters. They looked like locusts. They had, you know or scorpions, they had stingers in their tails, you know, when you're tr having a vision back then and you're trying to figure out, well, what, I've never seen something like this before, what is it? 
and they would use a, a bug or an animal to explain it. And so they'd never seen helicopters or warplanes or things flying around in the air. So, and then my dream before that, I seen that duck with the vulture, but I believe the duck represents um, military planes again because the uh, ducks fly in formations of V in different formations and so does military uh, planes and fighter jets. Um, and then when the Lord sa says what what's been given to the temple for sacrifice has now been removed. Well, um, I believe that's just a warning. And someone said it sounded like um, that scripture that's talking about um, when they, the abomination of desolation or, um, I need to do my homework, you guys, but I wanted to read Revelation 9. And the locust, about the locust. Um, and there came, okay, so 9, 3. And there came out of the smoke locust upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And scorpions have stingers in their tails while they're shooting things out of fighter jets, right? Or helicopters. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass or the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he strikes a man. And in those days men shall seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee for them, from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. So I've seen some of these um, helicopters, even Russia, um, they'll paint faces on the front of their helicopters and the crowns of gold, I mean, that could be the, the chopper blades. Um, I mean, because when if you're seeing a vision like this way back when and you see a helicopter, it looks like a locust with a the face of a man and or the face, you know what I mean? Some of them have teeth painted on them. Um, and on their heads were like crowns of gold, and their faces were as faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. The sound of a helicopter, those blades, it sounds like horses. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. And woe, one woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. So it just goes in to talk about the army of, oh, 200,000 thousand was that 200 okay so the last is and the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of their works of their hands that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver, brass and stone, and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, their fornication, nor of their thefts. So, these are the judgments that are coming. And it's this whole chapter is talking about war and so that's what I wanted to share with you guys and uh, 
just uh, stay in prayer, you guys. And, and don't worry. The Lord's... If, you've, if you're walking with the Lord and you've accepted Him as your Lord and Savior, um, you are not appointed to this wrath. Because look, they should not hurt the people with the seal of God on their forehead. You see what I mean? I know a lot of people say, I'm, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but I love you guys, and, and I'm praying for us in Jesus' name. Amen.